G'day guys. What I've got in front of me is one of the power packs from Enerdrive. Now, originally designed for tray backs, canopies, and the backs of utes, the size and functionality of this also lends itself to four-wheel drive station wagons. Currently, I've got a, an FJ, have done for about 10 years, and I built my own charging system in the back um, uh, 10 years ago, but I'm changing that up now to lithium. And to run that, I decided to go with something a bit more professional than what I did for the AGM. And there's also a couple of differences when running lithium, um, which I'll go into a bit later. So this, is, this particular pack is the Explorer Pack. And this particular one is the Explorer Pack Plus. And the reason for that is just on the front here, you've got a switch which allows you to turn on and turn off a remote inverter. Let's start at the chassis. As you can see here, everything is bolted very securely to this backboard. And that's one of the beauties of this particular product. Because what I'm able to do is take this whole unit, lift it up like this, and I can just install it into the back of my vehicle. I'll be doing an installation video at another time and show you exactly how I'm doing that. Now let's start at the actual front of this unit. Down here you've got the, the circuit breakers, along here you've got switches, and down here you've got the EPRO monitor. Now that's important when you're running a lithium battery particularly. And below that you've got two USBs and one standard 12 volt outlet. You can specify either, but I've gone for a, a, a mix of the USB and the standard. Now inside, the largest item in here is the DC to DC. Now this is a 40 plus amp and that's um, perfect to charge the 100 ampere lithium that I've got in the back. To this, all you need to do is connect the power leads from the, the alternator via the starter battery and it's already connected to this large um, plug here and lead which will go to the lithium battery to, short, to charge that battery and also draw the power on that. The, additionally you're able to add solar to this so I've got a solar panel on the roof and all I do is run all the wires through and connect it to the DC to DC charger and that takes over that. Further in here we've got the shunt. Now that's particularly important when you're running a lithium battery. It looks at the load going in and the load going out and um, therefore gives you an accurate reading of both the state of charge and also how long you've got to go appliances that you're running off it. In here you can see this is the cable which runs to the inverter. Up here you've got the actual fuses, the main fuses. Now I'm going to be running a compressor through this so I've mounted the compressor in the back of the vehicle here and to do that, well, one of the circuit breakers has been upgraded to 40 amps to cope with the load. Um, what I've also had to do is I've had to put a relay in, um, which is quite a simple thing once you know how. And I've installed that just there. Um, it fits inside the box. Running other things to it, I'll be running a, a Cellfi um, Telstra booster, a mobile booster, um, which is one of these switches just here, just that one there. And all I need to do is run the positive and negative to the switch in that case. Fairly straightforward. Uh, the fridge is already wired to an Anderson plug. It's got a circuit breaker built in and no switch on the front here because you can use the switch on the actual fridge itself. So very straightforward. Um, fits well in the FJ and would do similar to, to any other um, station wagon, Prado, etc. All in all, a very tight little, little unit, quite, quite thin, so it's going to sit in the side and um, a cover goes on that. You're able to add a logo to that, so you'll notice that um, the t-shirt and the Explorer match. It does come in larger sizes, this is the smallest size, very tidy little unit, easy to install, very practical and takes a lot of the, the, um, 
the thinking and, and the, the painful wiring and, and the, the really hard stuff out of your hands. This will last me for another 10 years for sure. Thanks very much. Thank you.